Parts of the country's second largest city, Los Angeles, were partially shut down today as 11,000 city workers walked off the job. Everything from trash collection to swimming pools to LAX affected. Miguel Almaguer is there. Walking off the job and to the steps of City Hall. Tonight, 11,000 Los Angeles city workers showing strength in numbers. A one-day strike, the first in more than 40 years, aimed at shutting down or disrupting services in the nation's second largest city. People are tired of not being heard, not being seen, and most importantly, being respected and appreciated. Protesting stalled contract negotiations, city custodians and maintenance crews, just some of those walking the picket line impacting shuttle services at LAX, animal shelters, as well as trash pickup across the city. Today, traffic officers and lifeguards were also a no-show. We feel like we've been slapped in the face. We're changing that today. We're sending a message loud and clear. Even though the city's contract with the union doesn't expire until this winter, SEIU Local 721 says the city is negotiating in bad faith. As the union demands the city fill thousands of vacancies and offer better pay and benefits, tonight the mayor says the city is not shut down and will continue bargaining in good faith for fair contracts. Everybody deserves to make a living. In what has become a summer of strikes, we city workers joined writers, actors, and hotel workers in Los Angeles who have been on the picket line for weeks. Tomorrow, one strike comes to an end. But thousands of workers remain united over their division with the city. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.